Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet. Where we, you know, all we talk about here is yarn and crochet, and nothing else. Um, when I do lots of crochet tutorials, so if that's something that interests you, please, please do subscribe. Yeah, yarn and anything that has to do with crochet. Sometimes knitting. I don't knit, but I, I like to talk about it sometimes and look at it. That's always fun, you know, fiber arts in general. So yes, um, today is 4-2 four, four of 2024. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be doing this, I don't have to, this video isn't a tutorial, but of course, please check out all my tutorials. Um, I have some mystery boxes. Mystery boxes are my favorite videos to open, yarn mystery boxes. So these came from a Canadian company called Aberdeen's Wool Company. I bought from them one time before, and if my memory serves, serves me correctly, they were good. Mis they were good mystery boxes. I don't know. Um, yes, but it does say that their website is down right now. So hopefully, there's an invoice in here. I will not be able to tell you how much they were. I'm certain they weren't that much. I don't know. I guess I could go look at my email so um as always I, I don't order mystery boxes in my bag of day crochet name because it's unfortunate um and generally i order to different addresses because i've learned oh, my, through my time on youtube that people will treat me differently if they realize that i'm going to that I'm back of a day and I'm probably going to open their product on camera. Not saying that this company will. I just don't. <laughs> I don't do it with any company anymore. Um, so. Except for Lion Brand. Lion Brand. Like I always say. They treat everybody the same. And I always say this too. I got the, lim I got the limited edition yarn to prove it. That's a. Uh, that's an inside joke. So. You know. If you watch me a lot, you probably know. If not, I mean, I'm not meaning nothing mean by that. So, so here we are. Okay. Thank you for your order. We hope you enjoy your new yarn. And we appreciate you supporting our small business. All right. Aberdeen's Wool in Canada. That's it. So my friend Gary. Check him out. He lives in Canada. From Urban Yarns. I'll put his YouTube channel below. Please subscribe if you haven't. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. I never miss his videos. Um, I couldn't speak highly enough of him. I very much admire his artistic abilities and everything about him. Um, I was watching one of his videos not too long ago and he had got some mystery boxes from them and so I thought I would too. So why don't we check them out? So I think when you go there you can put like knit knit ones or crochet ones. I think they come with a pattern. Can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary's came with pattern. And then, anyway, so let's just see. I would assume I got all crochet ones, but I could have got some knit ones. I don't know if they send but d different yarn in the knit ones. Like I said, I bought from them one time before, but you know what? I just don't remember. I don't remember. Let's check it out. All right. Hopefully they're not all the same, right? Actually, I don't care if they're all the same. They're all the same. What else? Sometimes they are, sometimes when you buy mystery bags, they're all the same. Sometimes they're different. You never know what you're going to get with a mystery bag. All right, let's see what we got here. First off, we got patterns. Patterns and yarn falling, falling out on my yarn. Okay. So it does come with pattern. This is a, I must have gotten it. This is a, oh, Tunisia knit. Oh, Tunisian crochet. I'm sorry. Um, so there's that. I don't read patterns. I have no idea. I make up my own designs. So there's that. But I do keep them. Give them away at a, you know, uh, Stormy Sky, sky Shawl. Yeah. I think they give you enough yarn to make like one of these if you wanted to. But then you have the pen pattern, Premier Waffle Stitch Scarf. I think I. Yeah. All right. So them over there let's i want to see the yarn let's see what yarn i got in this bag 
I'll look up my invoice and see how much these were because if I, I think they're like $14.95. They're not very much. Okay, so I got, I do remember getting this last time in the box. This is the KF, uh, KF5 uh, sock yarn. Merino wool blend. Huh. It's a one weight. Not a huge fan of one weights, but whatever. That's that. There, that's a one weight, all right. Um, it's gonna be smelling like wool. Ah, oh, that smells good. Seventy-five percent organic wool, twenty-five percent polymide, four hundred and fifty-nine yards. I can. I'll use this. On, I got a small knitting, adding knitting machine that I used to make socks. This will make me a pair of socks. Be nice too. It'll probably stripe up nicely on the knitting machine. All right. And then I got some Ella Ray is a uh, Superwash Classic. I've had this many times. Um, I said a pretty minty green, I guess. Pretty eastery. Um, as far as this wool goes, it's uh, 219 yards of a four weight. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 100% wool. You can't you can't uh, wash it or dry it because um, I don't know why. No no no, you can wash it on on cold. You can dry it. All right. Um, this is this wool's not my favorite as far as uh, there's a four weight. It's a good four weight. Uh, what's the yardage in here? Did I tell you? Two hundred nineteen. Yeah. So I got two balls of that. It's an all right wool. Um, it's not one I like would go out and buy again. Like I said, I've had before and it's not one I go out and purchase. I usually get it in mystery boxes. <laughs> I might have purchased it once, but the rest have come in mystery boxes. It's a little grabby, you know what I mean, as far as wool goes. Um, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. Um, I would wear it against my skin, but I can wear some, I love wool, so I can wear some scratchy wool. I have no sensitivity at all to wool nothing about it whatever it is nothing in it and the feel of it nothing makes me <laughs> sensitive to it um but if anybody you know if you have a even a slight sensitivity to wool you're probably going to wear it. if you make something out of this you don't want to wear something underneath it anyways got two of those but it's still not a bad yarn all right and then i got three of these um I can never pronounce this, but it is a very good brand of yarn. Um, there we go. Uh, it's a nice brand. I've bought a lot of yarn from this brand. I've never had this one. Um, it's called Dolly Baby. It's made in Italy. Um, extra fine merino wool, a luxury line. Ooh, the Dolly Baby is a luxury line. Well, 100% wool, unshrinkable. Unshrinkable and irresistible, it says. <laughs> that's great. Um, let's see. You can wash it, don't dry it. 233 meters or 240 or 54 yards. What are they classifying this as? It looks like a one way to me. Let's check it out. It's going to have a nice stretch. It's a 50 gram ball. Oh, look at that. Nice. Uh, two weight probably. Maybe. Whatever you guys think it is. I'm not stretching it on my hand right now. Here it goes at a stretch. That's a nice stretch. It's soft, it's nice. It's a good brand though. I got three of those. So that was my first mystery bag. Nice. All right, let's check out the others, want to? Hmm. Ooh, it's different. Ooh, and I see brown. In case you didn't know, brown is my favorite color. More uh, patterns, they're all crochet, premier patterns, premier patterns, and then a sock pattern. Um, okay, 
throw them over here. Hey, I'll keep them for a rainy day, you know, just in case. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, I never had this. Oh, I'd love to get yarn. I've never seen felt touched ever before in my life. Now, I love brown. Brown is my favorite color. And look at that. I love a nice ombre brown. Beautiful. Let's look at this. Mmm. Let's see what this is. EY uh, Selection. All right. All right. I know what brand this is. Um, that's what it is. Can you read it? Right there. That's the brand. You buy select. Sorry. I think I might have a couple. I might have had a couple of yarns from this brand, but I've never had this one. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Finest merino wool. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? I felt a lot of merino. Let's see. You're only 50 per, no, 90% merino. Can't even can't read it today. 90% uh, merino, 10% nylon. Mm-hmm. 3.52 ounces, 100 grams, 306 yards, 280 meters, 306 yards. Number four weight, hand wash, lay flat. Made in Italy. Okay. That's beautiful. Ooh. It's, okay, so this is chain spun to make a very lightweight garment. So you see that nice, beautiful ombre brown. I probably have to keep this one so far. This is the one I want to keep. Let's check out their four weight. So you're going to look at it, and it's going to be look like a pretty thick four. See how it's chain spun? See those little chain formations there? Makes a lightweight yarn, and it's going to be very stretched. So when it stretch, stretch it, probably equal up that four weight they're talking about, you know, when you use it on your hook. Otherwise, it's like a bulky five. That's nice. This one's beautiful. I like this. How's it feel? Nice. Um... Two the same, too. I've never seen this before, ever. This is my favorite. This is my favorite so far. Golly, that's pretty. I might have to make something with that. Look at that. Beautiful light brown in the center, all the way out to dark brown. I love ombre yarns, and you know what? They're really ain't much better than a brown ombre. Tell you the truth. Gorgeous. Love that one. All right, let's see what else is in here. Um... Sock yarn again. I've noticed that it usually comes in their bags. About you usually get a, a ball of this KFY sock yarn. I think I got one in every bag last time, maybe even two. That's nice. Um, that's why I got the sock pattern, I guess. But you know, I can't read that. So if I keep these, it go it'll go in my knitting machine. If I do, I do like that one better than the blue one. But they're both very pretty. So it's the same as the blue that I told you about. And then I got this, uh, Barco Vintage. All right, I've had this before too, as well. It's not a bad yarn. Um, there it is. It is a medium weight number four, um, 52 acrylic, eight wool, and, I'm sorry, 52 acrylic, 40 wool, and eight nylon. Mm-hmm. 218 yards to 200 meters for a 100 gram ball made in Peru. Okay, <clears throat> machine wash inside out on cold water. Lay flat. All right, so this stuff doesn't feel bad um, as far as the softness. Definitely scarfable. I've never had a problem with yarn, this yarn. It's not really one I go out and buy all the time, but you know, I have had it. So the color of it is like a greenish gray. Can you see that? And it's kind of heathered. It's actually very pretty. I like this one. How many yards I got of it? 218. It's it's nice. I might make a hat out of one of them. You know, hat making material for me. The other one I might put in a... That's I like that one. I like that. That was a good mystery box. That was good. Um, so far, that was my favorite mystery box. Better than the first one. Not wrong with the first one. Just the yarn was a little thin. And uh, that's okay. No. No. All right. More patterns. 
more patterns. So we got another uh, little scarfy cow thing, or whatever that is. Okay. Um, scarf and hat, I guess. I only got two patterns on that one. I guess they, they give you enough yarn. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that's what came with that one. Alright, let's look at the yarn. So, I got some more of this Ella Ray Super Wars Classic Wool. Again, it's like the green one I showed you. It's not my favorite of the Ella Ray line. Um, but it's not a bad, it's not a bad yarn. It's usable. So, uh, this was like the one I got last time. And now I got the pink. I like the pink and the green together. Like I said, very springy looking, I guess. But yeah, got these two again. And then, oh, here's the other pattern. Another scarf thing. They all look the same. That's okay. And then I got, um, all right, I've had this before too. Um, Barico Comfort. It is, uh, it's, it's a nice soft yarn. It's 50% uh, super fine nylon, 50% acrylic. It is really soft. Machine washable and dryable. Okay. Okay, number four, they say. They say it's a number four. I'll probably agree with them, but we'll look and see. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 210 yards, or 193 meters. Let's check out. Let's check it out. It's got a nice shine to it. Um, there we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. I give that a four. <clears throat> Wait, not like a plump four, nothing, but you know, just average four. Wait, it is very soft though. I gotta give it that. That's a super soft yarn. But like I said, I've had it before, so <clears throat> I knew that it was. I got three of those in there. I like that. That's nice. Um, it's pretty like cornflower, cornflower looking blue, maybe a little bit darker, but it's pretty. Um, probably. The softest yarn that I've gotten so far is this one. Very nice. This would be second. Mm, I love that. That stuff's nice. And then there's one more thing in this bag here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my gosh. Okay. Um, what's fun is it's funny. All right. This will be the softest that I get out of all the yarns. I can tell you. I got one more bag left. And there's not going to be a yarn that beats this. Unless there's another... Okay, I'll tell you what. This is Juniper Moon Farms. Now, I do have a top five favorite brands of yarn when it comes to higher end yarns. Juniper, Mar Juniper Moon Farms makes my top ten or top five. Um, they this is their Harriet, which is their one hundred percent alpaca. It's strange because I just bought some of this from Little Knits as well. Um, it's a very very nice alpaca yarn. I love Juniper Moon. I love them a lot. Now, when it comes to their 100%, uh, it's pure, extra fine baby alpaca. Um, it's a three weight, had it many times, used it many times, 219 yards or 200 meters. Now, when it comes to their alpaca, um, I felt a lot, a lot of alpaca in my day. I would say they're just as, you know, they're, they're one of the better ones. And their three weight isn't too bad of a three weight when it comes to their alpaca. And you can also tell that pretty much by, by the yardage. Um, 219 yards and a 100 gram ball is pretty dang close to a four weight. Um, as far as when you go weights, if you want me to break, break out the ruler, we could do the wraps per inch. But that's booking closer to a four than a three, if you, you know, if you ask me. In between a three and a four. That's what we'll say. It's so soft. Now, there's only one yarn that out of this bunch. Well, I don't know. I have this last bag here. This will be the softest yarn that I've gotten. Unless they throw another Juniper Moon in there. Juniper Moon's softest yarn is their Mako Cotton. Their Cumulus or... Um, Nimbus, their, their Mako cotton, 
is the softest Mako cotton. Well, this is opinion based, but if you was to ask me, what is the softest Mako cotton? What brand makes it? I wouldn't even hesitate a split second to tell you Juniper Moon makes the best Mako cotton out of any yarn company that I've ever come across. And I've felt a lot of Mako cotton in my day. But they make a very fine alpaca too. Like I said, it's up there with some of the good ones. When it comes to Juniper Moon, I love their Mako cotton and I love their Harriet, which is their 100% baby alpaca. I like other ones too. And some of them I haven't even tried. Um, I got some yarn from Little Nets. They were having a Juniper Moon farm sale. And I got some from them. And I'll show you guys some I've never had before. One of them's linen. I hate linen. But I thought if anybody can make a linen appealing to me, it would be Juniper Moon. But I'm not having much hopes for it. We'll watch. We'll look at that on a later date. So yes, I love this. Uh, the blue's pretty. It's very, it's not, it's pretty, very nice. Um, at an original cost, I would say this is probably in between a twenty and twenty-five dollar hank of yarn. I'm certain that paid for the mystery bag on its own. All right, that's a nice bag. I like that. Let's uh, move on to the last bag, and then I'm gonna look up and see what I, see what I uh, paid for these to let you guys know. Boom, boom. Oh, it's. Is that more Juniper Moon? No! Oh, it's another good brand. <laughs> okay, we got another sock yarn. So I got... Oh, I didn't get a sock yarn in that last bag. Did I? Did I open four bags? Four bags, but only three sock yarns. Those are all pretty. Ooh, which one's my favorite? Mm, this one. This one. I like the gold in it. It's beautiful. And the greenish green in it. Actually, all the colors work well together. So, that is the KFI sock yarn. Um, oh, I didn't show the patterns. Got a sock pattern there. Interesting. Interesting. Another little wrap or something. That's your, that scarf. Ribble, ribble scarf. And then... <laughs> Another scarf. <laughs> there we go. Back loop. Camel stitch scarf or something. I don't know. All right. Now, ooh, let's look at this. Oh, there's another pattern here. Why am I getting all these patterns? Oh, they gave me double the patterns. Same patterns again. I don't want all these patterns. It's okay. Like I said, I, I save them all for a rainy day. So I got the sock yarn, and then I got this. This is the, uh, I can never pronounce it right, but it's uh, er, 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 Eric, 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 I never say it right. It's a very nice brand of yarn, but I can say I've never had this variety. There it is, it starts with a P. It means parrot. Oh, interesting. I like that. So, that is an excellent brand of yarn, in case anybody wants to know. I've had many varieties of it, but never this one. I like it in yarn. So, let's take a look at this one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, this is a 75 cotton, 25 acrylic, is what it is. 328 yards and 100 gram hank, lightweight number three. Um, you can wash it, but don't dry it. Understandable. I wouldn't wash. I wouldn't wash it or dry it. Painted cotton blend. Okay, so it's very busy. I don't like busy yarns too much. Um, let's take a look at it though. How does it feel? Is it the best cotton I've ever felt? No, not in a million years. Is it the worst? No, not in a million years. I call this average cotton. Um. It's soft enough to make a garment out of it mm -hmm. and wear it. I don't think I would use it in the kitchen to make wash rags or anything. It's probably too good for that. But like I said, it's not the softest garment cotton I've ever come across. Um, and it is a chain spun, chain spun cotton. And there is your three weight. 
What do you guys think that is? I think that'd be okay for a three-way. I do. Now, although I do think this is pretty, and like I said, as far as cotton goes, I would consider it just an it's average feeling. It doesn't it doesn't feel bad. It would be you know, make a nice little summer scarf or something if that's what you wanted to make with it. What do you got? Three hundred twenty-eight yards. I I don't need glasses. I just my eyes are blurry for some reason. Allergies. It's allergies. 650 yards here, 660. Make a nice, yeah, little triangle, make a triangle scarf out of it, probably. Make a nice size one to wrap over a cowl, you know, a spring one. Make you a long, uh, you know, it's a long regular scarf to wrap around. Um, you know, little ascot scarf, you know, with the, where it ties on. Things like that you can make with it and wear during the summer just to doll up your outfit but like i said it is a little bit busy for my likings um although i do think it is a very nice brand of yarn and i think the cotton is just fine like i said it's not it's not the best cotton in the world no 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 but trust me i felt a lot of cotton and, and this is better than a lot of cottons it's just a an average um cotton that's the way it feels it's you have to understand though it's going to feel a little different because it's chain spun if you ever felt like mm, the, the K, KC brand cotton from Joann's or Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton. It's not going to feel like that because that's applied cotton. And I know a lot of people like like those cottons. And, you know, there's they're all right soft cottons, you know. Um, this is comparable to them, but comparable in a different way because it's chain spun. So it feels a bit different. Plus, it's going to be lighter weight. It's going to weigh... It's going to wear lighter than a, than applied cotton. So when you wear it, if you make a garment out of it, it's not going to be as heavy as Hobby Lobby's cotton. Theirs is going to be heavier because it's applied, I think, a four-ply, you know, twisted. It's twisted cotton. As opposed to being chain spun, which will make a lighter weight garment. It is very pretty. You know what? I might have to try it, see what it looks like. Maybe I'll do a hat on my knitting machine. See what it looks like. It's very busy. The stripes in it are extremely short. They only look like they're about an inch apiece. But that's okay. Do the dye lots match? I don't match dye lots anyways. It doesn't matter. But people ask. Yeah, they do. I like this. Alright, so that that was... Oh, there, that's not it. That's it. So I got these two in that bag. Sorry. This one. And there's something else in here. Three more. Let's check out this. More blue, got a lot of blue. Lots of blue today. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. This is a EYB brand. Baby, a soft cotton chunky. I have had this before. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. They call this teal. I'm not saying that's looking like teal at all. What do you guys think? I see no teal in that ball. But hey, they can call it what they want. I'm just going to call it blue. I'm blue. Okay. It's blue. It's blue. It's blue. Let's read about it. It's 55 acrylic, 45 cotton. It's cotton acrylic blend. Um, 153 yards for 100 grams. Uh, it's got to be a bulky. Um, 140 meters. Yep. Yep. Machine wash. Do not dry it. Of course, I wouldn't recommend doing either one of those. It is a bulky five. So you got 153 yards of a bulky five here. This is a twisted cotton. Height, it's it's tightly twisted too. So let's look at that. Nice bulky five. Nice round bulky. That's a nice bulky five. And how does it feel? Feels good. Feels fine. Is it the best cotton I've ever felt? No, it's not. But it's a cotton acrylic blend. Um, <laughs> Let me try to compare it to a cotton acrylic blend that maybe people will know. Um, Caron, Caron Cakes, they're cotton acrylic blends. Way better. This is way better than those. Um, like, it's, you can't even compare the two. Uncomparable. This is way softer. Um, it's nice. Yeah, definitely garment worthy. But it, like I said, it is, it's a cotton acrylic, so it's not 100% straight cotton that acrylic will soften up, soften up that cotton. It's nice though. That's nice. I like that. I do wish it would, you know, like I said, I got a lot of blue here. Um, I like blue. I do. It's just, I like navy blue the best. It's my favorite. 
All right. Just one second here before I go. All right, I'm back. Since their site is down, I cannot tell you how much um, these bags were. Because I remember when I bought them, the email was wrong or something. So I didn't get a confirmation email. But if anybody knows, you can leave it in the comments. I think in there $14.95. I know some of you will know how much they are. But you could correct me if I'm wrong. So it's all beautiful yarn. It was all worth the $14.95. My favorite, though, of the whole bunch is the Juniper Moon Harriet. It's a beautiful yarn. Um, and like I said, this stuff is probably 20 25 bucks a hank, depending on where you're getting it from. But I think... Uh, um, yeah, it's $24 at Michigan Fine Yarns. It just depends on where you go. I think that some of the colors are being discontinued. So that's probably what's going on. I looked this yarn up because I didn't know anything about it. And it looks like it's a discontinued yarn. People are selling it on eBay and Etsy for like, you know, how they inflate the prices on discontinued yarns. Oh, and the vintage is very nice too. I like that. So sometimes they uh, will have, I don't know, maybe this color is being discontinued. Maybe it's not being discontinued. I don't know about Aberdeen's. I don't know much about them. To tell you the truth, because they're, they, you know, they're, Cana they're from Canada and I'm in the States. Um, and this is only the second time I've ever bought from them. But it appears to me that maybe they're similar to Little Knits here in the United States. Like they get uh, either discontinued yarns or discontinued colors, overstock yarns, things like that. That's how they're able to sell them cheaper. Now don't quote me on that. I don't know if I'm right. But I only mention it because I know that this is on... Um, some certain colors of this Juniper Moon Harriet is on Little Knits and I know it's because um, it's either overstock or a discontinued color and I just looked this up and it's discontinued not that there's anything wrong with that that's a good way to score deals that's why uh, Little Knits is my favorite uh, small yarn company in the United States I got a box from them to show you later you're gonna love it it's got some Harriet yarn in it um, I got different colors I was gonna just I don't know make something with a bunch of different colors maybe you guys will like it i like everything i got i think it was worth every penny that i paid for it if i paid the 14.95 i'm pretty sure that's what it is please let me know in the comments no that i like it all very much worth it and i would definitely buy from them again 100 percent like i said it reminds me a little bit of little knits except for it's mystery you don't get to pick the yarn you know you just got to buy their mystery bag but I'm not disappointed in any of it. Not at all. It's all very nice, very soft, very usable yarn. Some of it's a little thin for me, but you know, that's what you get when it comes to mystery boxes. I know people who love that, so very nice, very nice. But I will say, yes, the definitely the, the Harriet Out 100% Alpaca is my favorite. But f favorite for softness and brand. How about that? Color, though, no. This this is beautiful. This is my second favorite. If this was brown, though, this would take the cake. But this is very nice. I like the ombre brown, and I like the chain spun. Hopefully, I can find a couple more balls of that. Yeah. Um, and not have to pay $20, $25 for it from someone on Etsy. I won't pay that. Um, but, yeah, if I can find a couple more balls, I'm going to keep this. So, I can make something a little bit bigger. Yeah, three walls probably. That'd be nice. Maybe four. I could probably find it if I look. Look around somewhere. Surely another store's got it. If it's being discontinued, surely someone or somewhere else has it. I don't know. Maybe Little Nuts will get it in. Maybe not. Maybe it's a Cana Canadian thing. <laughs> I love my I love my Canadians so that I I'd love to visit Canada one day. Visit my friend Gary. I just can't get on a plane. And I don't ever leave my house, rarely. Or the vicinity of my town, rarely. I'm a homebody. But Gary comes to see me. Love you, Gary. Thanks, everybody, for watching, all right? See you guys on my next video. I love it all. Aberdeen's. Remember, today, 4-2-2024, their site is down. It said something about they were having maintenance. They'd be up later, tonight, or tomorrow or something. So check them out then. Definitely worth your money. Bye, guys.